Earth Overshoot Day is a very important day out of the year. In fact, possibly the most important. That's right, Christmas, it's coming for you. And it's based off an equation that goes like this. You take the total of Earth's bio capacity, which is things like plants, animals, building materials, and you divide it by the ecological footprint of the people on Earth, which is essentially the demand for these various things like building materials, food, and all the other stuff that's a part of life. Then you multiply it by 365 days and you have Earth Overshoot Day. In the case of America, our Earth Overshoot Day was actually in March, which means that after March, we needed a second planet. We're actually going through several planets every year. And in regards to the rest of the world, Earth's Overshoot Day on average is in August, meaning that no matter what country you live in, we are consuming more of the Earth than we're actually able to maintain over the years. So something's gotta break, or something's gotta fix. Speaking of a fix, something like that actually occurred over the course of 2020, in the form of a deadly pandemic. For all the terrible things it might have brought into our lives, it had a silver lining, being that less products were consumed and people stopped traveling as much, which led to a whopping 10% drop in total emissions. This is the first time we've seen a drop since the last recession, so going forward the daunting task of reducing emissions and keeping the economy alive at the same time are the real challenges. Now if any of that interests you, I've already made a bunch of videos about sustainability and what the future of civilization might look like, so check them out. But if you feel like this video brought you any value, definitely smash the like button and remember, keep orbiting.